Hello and welcome to March's Art Chat. March Art Chat. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Um, can you believe that it's time for another art chat already? I certainly cannot. Um, let's just let's just get into it. There's so many sketchbooks on the go. Look at all look at all these sketchbooks that I have <laughs> on the go. Um, a few of them have been completed, and I've done sketchbook tours on them, so um, when we get to those ones, I will uh, link them um, up here and then also down below. But March the 1st, can you see this? Uh, March the 1st, I did an introvert drawing club. Um, did I join this one live? I might have joined this one live. I can't remember. It was a month ago. Um, Introvert Drawing Club is an online live drawing session. IntrovertDrawingClub.com will get you there. Beth Spencer runs it. And if you're watching this today on April the 1st, go to Threads, look up Introvert Drawing Club, comment on her post, and she'll give you a free trial. Um, there's so many good sessions. Um, there's a couple that I've done this month that you'll see, but go and comment and sign up, get your free trial because Beth is super generous and um, do all of the sessions. They're all so good. Uh, this was Hugs drawing session. Very cute. I used Neo Color 2's with a black um, polychromos color pencil for the outlines. Um, I don't know why that's my favorite black pencil. I wish it were blacker but I just, I don't know. I have like four of them on the go. <laughs> March 2nd was our pop-up arting party, um, the Saturday morning uh, one that we have started doing now, um, to be confirmed every month, but so far it's been the first Saturday of every month, so we have one coming up on April 6th. If you're around, we're going to be doing night scenes. Um, and we set the timer for 20 minutes, so we get a lot longer with each of our references. And for this one, the theme was picnics, and I used acrylic paint, so doing <laughs> um, acrylic paintings in 20 minutes was quite, I mean, you know that I love a, you know that I love a panic, um, and these definitely induced panic. Um, her head needs to be just 20% bigger, <laughs> and then that one will be good. Um, so that was fun, that was a fun session. And the third, I don't even know what order to do the third. There's a few thirds, so this one was closest. Um, this is my Drawing People from Life sketchbook. It's a Talon's art creation, as most of these are, except for um, one. So <laughs> I always try to draw Ray, um, but Ray moves as much as a cat when I try to draw him, is <laughs> what I wrote there. Um, I will never stop trying. Uh, let me come into this. So this is a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook and I did just do a tour of this one because I completed it in the month of March. Um, so I'll link that there and also below. But these are some single line contour drawings. Not blind. Um, I just don't lift my pen off the paper for each of the figures. These are Boston Celtics basketball players. Um, you'll see them featured many times throughout the month. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I use the Sailor Fude fountain pen that I have a really, really super dark green um, ink in there. I don't know why I'm zooming in on his crotch, but <laughs> uh, you can see the bleed. Um, it bleeds green, but funny, that's the Celtics uh, slogan, bleed green. Um, maybe that's a good reason to use this pen for them. Anyway, uh, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, and Derek White. Um, just fun to do single line drawings. I love my most uh, recent drawing that you'll see at the very end that I did yesterday um, is a single line drawing. And like, if I could only draw in single line for the rest of my life, I would do that. Also on the third, the third was a busy day. Um, I finished, I don't know that I did the whole thing. Did I do this on a stream with Ray? Again, a month feels like such a short time, but then when I try to think back to specifics, um, I think I did do this on a Twitch stream with him. So this is uh, for the collection, The Memories of My Grandma's Garden. 
uh, still life of things that remind me of my grandma. So grandma, um, she was a seamstress, not by trade, but by passion. <laughs> uh, seamstress, gardener, grandmother, mother, general, nice human being to everyone and anyone. Um, so measuring tape. This recipe book, this book here is a recipe book that she started when she was 16 years old. I have it in my possession. I keep it wrapped up in my um, my sock drawer so nothing ever touches it. <laughs> uh, carrots from the garden. Um, this is my wedding ring. I have hers. Um, it's more of a family ring with all the different birthstones on it, but I should have put that in there, but my memory just like failed me on that. Anyway, the way that I rendered the gold on that, I think might be, might be my best bit of painting on anything I've ever done. Uh, pickled beets because she always made them and they were always my favorite that she would put out on the table during like chicken roast chicken lunch. Apple, a teacup and saucer, that was hers. Little strawberries. These are actually earrings that Intergalactic Peach Patrol made for me, but because uh, they're cute and she grew strawberries in her garden, I put them there. Another little strawberry just because. Um, so yeah, really been enjoying painting still lifes. Um, and this one is cute. <laughs> So that was the third. On the fourth, and uh, we come to this guy. This was done, I think this was done last month during an uh, art hang party. Um, but anyway, not what we're here to talk about. You can go back to that art chat if you want to hear the story. Uh, on the fourth I did, this is, um, so I would have had leftover paint from this that I just brushed on this and then just using color pencil. When do I ever just use color pencil? Um, I saw this picture of Sola, um, the chef, famous YouTuber chef um, that you watched a lot of during early pandemic times. Um, and yeah, just did a cute little portrait of her, which I like. I like it. Uh, on the fifth, this one I definitely did on a Twitch live stream um, with Ray. So he plays house music and then I draw along. So we've got like, maybe I'll see if I can put in a little bit of a clip of it so that you can actually see what it is. But it's really fun. You should come join it. Um, it's just, I never really get a lot of notice to promote it, but I usually do pop a note in the Discord, Art Hang Party Discord. This is a scene from Tokyo. Again, I just use color pencil. Who am I? What is this? When do I ever do that? Um, must have been, must have been the vibe for that time. That doesn't, that doesn't need a, that doesn't need a thing in the middle. Um, on the fifth, my niece Ava, who is t 20 now, came to get her first tattoo. Um, so this is her getting her first tattoo. And then also her getting her first tattoo. I used Inktense pencils, and again, the lines are done in that black um, polychromos color pencil because it is water proof resistant, probably water resistant. Um, so it's nice to mix with the wet media, which is probably why I like it so much. Um, I first started putting in shadows using the blue and I really didn't like it. So that's why the whole background is filled and I still don't like it. I wish I would have just left it, um, like the line work and stuff, but I didn't. And then I think this was before we left to get her tattoo, but um, she likes drawing. I gave her a sketchbook and in Inktense paints for Christmas. And so she was saying she never knows what to draw. She likes to draw from imagination, but she never really knows what to draw when she sits down to do it or like whatever. So I said, try, I suggested that she tried some single line drawings like I love to do and just whatever is in front of you. So, I mean, she was drinking that, using the ink little thing from my shelf, the ink tense paints. Um, yeah, so just a little fun time drawing with my niece. Single line, single line like. Uh, okay. Back to the big boy. Six was a Scribble Brigade session with Sophie McPike. Um, and her theme for the month, she's been doing monthly themes, which is, must be nice, thinking about how I run Art Hang Party and everything. <laughs> um, just having to gather references for, she does three sessions throughout the month, um, all on the same theme. Um, and it doesn't get stale, so good, 
good good thinking, Sophie. Uh, the theme for March was um, animation backgrounds. And I decided that it would be fun to use oil pastels. <laughs> um, and I was right. Um, and then I, so that was half of the session. Hello, little lady. Um, and then I used, this is just Moon Glow um, from Daniel Smith, watercolor, um, to do the second half of the session on the next day. It's fun doing um, like composition studies, just monochrome like that. I really enjoyed it. Also on the 7th was Art Hang Party Day. Oh my goodness. Really? Oh my goodness. Unlike me to do two drawing sessions uh, in one day. Um, the theme was build a cafe, which was really super fun. Uh, so everybody contributed to a Pinterest board, um, which was helpful actually. I've had help gathering references before, but it was, it was neat to collaborate uh, like that with Art Hang Party people. And the way that we did it was I only had one picture up at a time. So we would start with what we're drinking. So then I put up a picture that had more than just the coffee in it, but um, we just drew the coffee cup and then we're like, next one was what are we eating? So, um, and then our snacks and then who are we sitting with? Who are we having coffee with? And then we slowly built it out from there. So then the counter, the barista, um, I think it was like another counter, other guests, and then a lighting fixture. Um, yeah, and same thing. Like, these are so fun to do. And it, like, made something click in my head when we were doing it that for other illustrations and um, artworks and things like that, you don't only need to use one perfect reference photo. Like, you can pick things from different photos, different references, and smoosh them all together so that it makes sense. Like, I never would have drawn a scene like this, but like based on one reference photo, but I love how it looks like it tells a story more than just, I think, drawing from one reference photo. Although there's nothing wrong with that. It just, it's opened up so many possibilities, um, which is always, always good. Uh, on the eighth, I did uh, some drawings of old family photos. Again, using Neo Colors and the black um, pencil. This is my dad sitting on a, like a, oh, what is it called? A GT snow racer. <laughs> I think he's so cute here. I love that picture. Um, this is my Aunt Karen. She's bending over, so that's why her perspective looks really weird. But true to the photo, but it looks weird. And then I really like how I was able to tell the story with the expressions on my cousin's faces there. Um, which weren't really their expressions in the photo, but I just thought it was pretty accurate to uh, their personalities. Also, on the 8th, more Boston Celtics uh, single line contour drawings. This time I used my black, uh, black ink and a Lamy Safari pen, but I like the idea of using the green. I think that's, I think that's the smarty pants. On the 9th, oh, this was a bit of a playtime in my sketchbook. So when I first started this sketchbook, I started, my intention was to use it to play. So I used here, I used um, acrylic inks and just kind of splotted them down to, working from a reference photo from Pinterest, um, to plot out the garden scape. And then I closed, uh, the thing, the sketchbook, and then transferred inks over here, and um, then went in with neo colors and all sorts of things. So I tried <laughs> to do that again here, but then it just turned into like this big mess. So then I was like, okay, well, negative space was fun when we played with that last month um, at Art Hang Party. So then that's what I did. I think I started something over here. I can't remember. There's so many evolutions that happened under here, and then I just abandoned. Um, 
So, and then I carved out this, uh, these flowers in a vase over here, and then I kind of tried to do the same thing and blah, blah, blah. And now this is like 17 layers of acrylic paint over here. <laughs> uh, very fun. Still, like, still, still play. It just not a very successful um, piece outcome, but that's totally cool. That's what sketchbooks are for. Um, more single line drawings using watercolor to color. I didn't want to draw more Celtics um, or people or anything, so I thought, well, I'll draw cupcakes. Um, and I don't love it, so. <laughs> uh, there we go. Also on the 10th, I did this. I think I did this after I did the cupcakes because I was not satisfied. Um, and I was just looking at Pinterest at, I have a houses board, like to, for illustration uh, references and things like that. Um, so yeah, I just combined a couple references and did this scene. I used the Kiritake, um paints for these ones for the backgrounds, I think. I must have. Yeah, definitely Kiritake. And then um, a little bit of Neo Color and then the black, uh, black pencil. So that was fun. I like that one. That was fun. Eleven. Oh, eleven. Oh, eleven. All right. And then I did a uh, one hundred. What was it? Uh, one week, one hundred people. So now we move to this sketchbook for the week. I think. <laughs> um, yeah. So starting on the eleventh, uh, Boston Celtics. Single line drawings, intense paints. I'm telling you, I love single line drawings. It takes the pressure off of trying to get like the likeness and proportion, although I think I'm better with proportion when I do single line drawings. Um, and yeah, just like the wonkiness. <laughs> like I would never draw a face like that if I were just trying to draw um, Kristaps Porzingis, but it captures him. Like it's, it's fun. On the 12th, um, next day, I did these live on a uh, Twitch stream with Ray, and it was really funny because a lot of these people were actually watching in the, uh, well, some of these people were watching in the chat and they were actually guessing who I was drawing and everything. Um, so very fun. For these ones, I used the Inktense paints and then the black um, polychromos color pencil. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say black polychromos color pencil in this video? Um, but I was really happy with how I was able to capture likeness of people. Um, this is DJ Strobe, so if you are ever at Art Hang Party, the music that you hear in the background was done by this guy. And this is him when he was probably like seven or eight. <laughs> Forever a disco kid. On the 13th, some more people. Um, these ones I just got from, from Pinterest, and I followed like an example that Blue Shine Art um, here on YouTube, uh, Charlotta Hamilton, um, did... Anyway, I saw her do it and I was like, oh, and she just color blocked everything. Um, and it was really fun to do that, I used Neo Colors. And then I did some single line drawings of people dancing, uh, another person dancing. I think I started her a little bit big to fit her all in the paper, but that's okay. More people dancing. Uh, kids from Pinterest. Um, on the 14th, I had asked on my, um, Instagram if anybody had any photos of people that they wanted me to draw. So this is, uh, Mark and his cousin. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, this is Jessica's husband and their son. Very cute. Um, this is me, Rosanna, and Vicky. Very cute. Uh, and then it was Art Hang Party Day, um, and the theme was Hairstyles Through the Ages. So, here we go. I used the camel rainbow pencil for these. This session definitely helped me hit, um, really like get up in the hundred, closer to the hundred people for the one week, 100 people challenge. My hope was um, to fill this sketchbook totally throughout the month, but that didn't happen.
Uh, this is where I found out that I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube and hit the monetization for ad revenue target. Yay! <laughs> um, this session was really fun. If you need practice drawing people, I highly suggest um, going back to the hairstyles through the ages. And then on the 15th, my one of my other nieces came over for a sleepover. This is Lorelai, a single line drawing from life. Oh, blind. Was that blind? That might not be blind. Um, and then she's a big Melanie Martinez fan. So she's like, you should draw this one. Um, one of her CD covers. So I did that, counted that as a person. And then she also had a Taylor Swift CD. So uh, that's uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Um, two more people. Uh, that I drew from one of my photo references and then some random guy holding capybaras um, from Pinterest. So that was my one, my one week 100 people challenge, which I completed successfully. I'm so impressed with how easy and effortless that, effortless that was. <laughs> Not to like, I don't know, I just, it just felt easy. Like I must have been in a people drawing mood. <clears throat> um, the art hang party session definitely helped, but I'm really impressed with myself that I was able to finish that. Um, Pearl, my cat. Also on the 15th and also on the 15th. My goodness. Oh, um, so this <laughs> was based on a, on, what, on the very first Bob Ross, um, episode. And my niece and I thought it might be fun to try to follow along using gouache. So Bob paints in oil. We were using gouache, very different. Um, let me see. Oh no, I think she took her sketchbook home. Yeah, I was gonna show you her picture, but I don't have it. Um, so that was fun. <laughs> And then on the 16th, we did some more drawing and she suggested that we draw one of her favorite artists. So this is um, Master Studies of the artist Avery Palmer. I would never have um, drawn these, but it was pretty fun. <laughs> They're very uh, silly, surreal paintings and it was really fun um, to have a play drawing them. I guess we're still here, the 17th. Um, oh, this is my dream house right here. Uh, dream house inspired by an old boathouse at Camel Cottages area in the Victorian era. Um, Intergalactic Peach Patrol had posted a picture on threads of her bookshelf. And I was like, oh, I need to see inside some of those books. And then, so um, she opened up a houseboat one that she has, and this was one of the pictures. And yeah, based loosely on that. If I could live here, uh, I would be a very happy, very happy person. The 18th. Oh, yes. Um, so Marlos de Vries, is that how you say it? Mar Marlos de Vries, uh, an illustrator from the Netherlands, I think. Uh, she has a sub stack, which I will link below because you should read it, <laughs> subscribe to it. Um, go back to the beginning and read everything. But there's a picture that she had shared in there of just a view outside of um, like a little pig shack where <laughs> she stays somewhere in the English countryside. I don't know. Um, but it was these two horses grazing in this beautiful landscape. And so I was like, oh man, I need to paint that. So I asked in the comments if she would mind if I painted it and she said, yes, go ahead. Um, very generous. So this is that. And I always say that I have such a hard time painting horses, drawing horses. And I think I just did the shapes, the big shapes first, um, not looking at the details. And then I went in with Neo color and pencil and um, kind of carved out some definition and stuff, which is funny because I got a very nice message from Kristen Hastings the very next day. Cause I think I mentioned something on, uh, on an art hang or I don't know, I don't know where, um, that I have a hard time drawing horses. And so she gave me some good tips, um, 
which I did the day after, which is actually what I did the day before, <laughs> um, to just focus on the shapes of the outlines. To start with um, like illustrated or stylized horses already, like refer to other people's references just to kind of get the hang of it. Um, so that's what I did here. Just blobs, like block out, color block in the shapes of the horses and then go in and add the details after. So that was fun. That's what I did there. I have one more of those, but, oh, skip today. On the 19th, uh, oh, I missed a, I missed a art hang party. Okay, I'll go back to that. Um, on the 19th, I watched a replay of a Downton, a Downton, Downton Abbey, <laughs> Downton Abbey draw along from Callie Quarles on Substack. I will also link um, to the post below. Uh, and then you can also draw along. So she had slides of like, there was like three or four images on each slide. So you could kind of pick and choose what you wanted, um, what you wanted to draw. But yeah, it was, it was very nice, very chill uh, drawing session playing, uh, drawing along to the replay. It's been a while since I've watched Downton Abbey, um, but C C Callie, Callie's knowledge of the show is like encyclopedic. It's impressive. <laughs> um, so let's go back to the 12th because I forgot about this. It was more Scribble Brigade. Um, it's very bright. Uh, more Scribble Brigade with Sophie McPike and the animated background uh, sessions. So I had um, just like roughly brushed on some acrylic inks um, way before, like I think there's like, it goes back to like, I don't know, a third of the last third of the sketchbook, I think. Um, so then I just decided to use a black Pentel pocket brush pen just to do them. And I think they're, I think they're really cute. Like I pretty, I'm really happy with how uh, those came out. So that was the end of this sketchbook, which I have also done a sketchbook tour for, um, which is up on my channel. So you can watch that. And while we're on the subject of Art Hang Party, let's do another. On the 21st, we did Shoes on Feet Week, <laughs> which is a weird, like, I don't know, weird way to say it, but it's not just shoes, it's actually people wearing shoes. So the term is Shoes on Feet. And for these, I used the black polychromes color pencil and Inktense paints. One of the first things that I did when I was getting into drawing again, like drawing like physically, analogly on paper with pen and not in my sketch, not in my um, iPad on Procreate, which I had been doing before. I'd, I did a 100 um, shoes challenge. So I drew uh, sneakers. I drew a hundred sneakers, which is how like I really kind of fell back in love with drawing. So that was Shoes on Feet Week. And then to finish out this sketchbook, which there's also a sketchbook tour up um, on my channel. Um, this is from Landscape Art Club and I was watching an Onmar Wynn YouTube video, which I'll link down below. Um, where she was drawing these references. These are her photo references that were um, put up on Landscape Art Club on Instagram. And so I was watching her and I was like, man, I really feel like, I really feel like drawing those <laughs> references. So I paused the video, I opened my sketchbook. This page had like a whole wash, like you can see up here how much um, color is behind. And that was like all over the page. So this side is just Neo Color 2 on top of that. Uh, which worked really, really well. Um, fun painting over um, paint. This was just an empty, there's no color behind here. So I used Holbein watercolor and Neo Color 2 color pencils on here uh, to do this one. So that was fun. And then on the 23rd, I did another solo, not part of Art Hang Party, 
um, build a cafe scene. So I found this one a lot harder because on the Artang party I had pre-selected the references um, but this one I was just kind of going like, okay, well, let's do the coffee, let's do the food, let's do the this, like through that um, Pinterest board. Still works, um, but I found it a little bit harder not to have pre-planned out my little individual pieces. And then this is just based on one photo, <clears throat> one photo um, reference. So this is a lot more interesting to me than this, but by this time I was like, I was ready to close my sketchbook. <laughs> So I went fast. On the 24th, um, I did this. I did this little painting, um, mixed media piece. So this reference photo I saw on actually my cousin's cousin's Instagram stories. Um, she goes on a ton of hikes in and around the San Francisco area and big redwoods and things like that. And so her photos are always so inspiring for me. But this one particularly, I was like, man, I need to, I need to paint that. Um, so I did. I used acrylic ink in the background and I just wanted to be like super loose. So I took like, you know, the little pipette thing that's in the jars of acrylic ink and just kind of drew with those on here using a couple different colors to kind of map things out. And then before it was really truly dry, I went in with um, Neo Color 2s and pencils and just kind of worked. And this I did right after I finished watching Sandy Hester's video on value, where she turned, like, where she was, like, turning things black and white to see, like, what the actual true values are of the colors and everything like that. So that's what I did to get this piece to where it is, is I turned my phone um, black and white so that when I opened the camera, it was black and white. Um, I don't know if it's like for everything, but if I triple press on the lock on my phone, it turns it black and white. So try that. It might work for you. I don't know. <laughs> but I was looking through the camera at this and then looking through the camera at the reference photo um, to see like if it was matching up. And maybe I'll put that side by side so you can see how close I was able to get it. Um, so there are some places where I need to darken to get it to match the value on the reference photo and other places where I need to lighten up. Um, but I think it like the it it's a good value study and I think the colors are just really fun um, So I like this <laughs> uh, Yes, and then on the 25th I did some more Boston Celtics single line contour drawings For some reason they're all wearing tracksuits today on this day <laughs> um, And that's where I am in this sketchbook I'm going to fill this one only with people. So this is going to be my people um, sketchbook now. This is my people from life sketchbook. People from reference, people from life. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself anyway. A little bit out of order. Okay, here's more horses. These ones I did, again, the same thing um, with the color, like with the color blocks first, just blocking in the shapes and then using the pencil to define um, some of the details, but I did these ones from actual photos of horses on Google Photos, just like random image image search. Um, but I think I was still able to get like some of the some of the style. These ones I think are better, but these ones are close. So that's cool. On the 26th, I did another introvert drawing club. This one I did live. Um, I tuned in, it was a Saturday morning, and uh, kind of rushed my breakfast and stuff in time to get there, but this was um, with Beth Spencer and Raj, oh my gosh, I'll put her name up here. They did a co-hosting um, session, which was really fun, but the theme was al um, album covers with cats, <laughs> so everything was um, catified, very cute. Sorry, my chair is squeaky again, still. Yeah, like the David Miawi and the Pervana. Pet my behind. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, again, Neo Color 2s and Polychromos Black Color Pencil. Um, this was a replay of an introvert drawing club session. Um, awkward animal headshots. 
So last month, I think it was, you saw some drawings of me putting animals on human bodies and stuff like this, but this is the actual drawing session that I drew along to. Uh, again, go to Threads, look up Introvert Drawing Club, comment on her post, um, on Beth's post, and get yourself a free trial. <laughs> Um, on the 26th, we did another live stream on Twitch where Ray was playing house music and then I did a still life of a random breakfast photo. <laughs> I used uh, Kiritake paints, so more like watercolor, which was a little bit different than using um, acrylic for a still life, but still fun. Um, and then I used some color pencil and a little bit of Neo Color 2s on top. The replay's up of this one on his YouTube channel, so I will link that below if you want to check it out. It's very fun. Um, this one I didn't, well, I put it on my Substack. I do a weekly uh, Substack newsletter, by the way, that comes out every Sunday if you want to see what I'm up to. Um, this is like a dream art studio type of thing, and I tried that build a scene again, taking, um, bits and pieces from different photos to build it out, but I got bored. Uh, not bored, I didn't want to continue. <laughs> I didn't like it, is what I'm trying to say. So let's turn the page. There's something else too, wasn't there? What else did I do? Um, oh, that's when I then went and did an introvert drawing club session. Okay, showed you those in reverse. Um, this is another photo that I saw on Substack from the Sophist, um, and it's just a house in Regent Park, Regent, on Regent's Park Road or something, somewhere in London. Um, so I did that first, and then um, just a face that I found on Pinterest. Um, these, this last week of things is included in a blog that I just put out. Um, you want to check that out that's up on my channel um playing in my sketchbook for a week um this is drawing the machine jt on twitch so oftentimes before i start art hang party um this would be a thursday this is the now the 28th um i tune in to twitch and often jt is playing house music so it's just kind of a nice um fill my time before i start the stream and then it was Art Hang Party, um, and the theme was vintage ads. So here we go. Here's our vintage ads. <laughs> I don't super love my drawings um, from this week, but I can definitely see that I drew them. So I think there's some style with people that I've developed over the last little while. I think my people have a consistency to them. Um, this was a single line blind contour drawing. So not looking at the paper, and it's a Garfield phone. <laughs> uh, the session was really fun, though, and I mean, they're all fun. So if you want to check that out, that's also up uh, for you to draw along to the replay. And then this one, we had to switch hands to draw it. So this one I drew with my left hand. <laughs> uh, fun, fun. On the 29th, we're coming to the end. We're coming to the end. Another live stream. Um, I had a lot of fun doing the still life of the breakfast um, on screen, like during the stream. So I looked back through my photos to see if I had another random picture of food. And then I saw this picture of DJ Strobe, again, music, uh, our hang party music man. Um, he makes pickles. And so I saw a picture of this jar of pickles. I was like, I'm gonna do that. So it was really, it was really fun. I really enjoyed this. I used acrylic um, paints for this. And I'm not sure if this is up on Ray's YouTube channel, but um, if it is, you can find it in the link below. Surprisingly, the pickles came together really effortless, effortlessly. Um, like really, just like blocks of different shades of green. And they're effectively pickles, I think. Um, the label 
especially the wording. Like, he came together pretty easy, but the wording has about, like, three or four different layers because <laughs> I couldn't get it right. I could not get it right. And at one point, the background here was fully uh, fluorescent pink, which did not look right. So then I did white all around, and then I needed something to ground it, so I decided to add the blue um, of the table, which I think works nicely. Uh, I love this. <laughs> it's so random, and I love it. And then on the 30th, um, I've had this idea to do a profile picture for my website um, to update that. And I wanted to illustrate the background and then like superimpose myself on it. Um, so sort of like a bit of a collage. So this is the shelf that I sit in front of. Like this is my art shelf that has everything on it um, that I use all my sketchbooks, my reference materials, um, paints and palettes and all sorts of things. Um, so I drew this out in a single line drawing, and then I used my three favorite watercolors um, from Holbein, my little mini, my little mini palette. I'm sure you, I'm sure you know it. I'm sure you know it. It's these guys. Well, it's these guys. I'll just do that. <laughs> um, it's these guys to get all of these colors. Like, the colors that mix are just so clean. Anyway, so I did that, and then, um... I found some pictures of myself and I put them in, so I'll show you what those look like. Um, and I think I'm gonna go with the one with the striped photo with me um, holding the paintbrush as a mustache. <laughs> yeah, fun. And finally, yesterday, the 31st, um, sticking with the single line uh, contour drawing and the three paints. Um, I did this master study of a Helen McNichol, the chintz sofa painting. I'm like so tempted to just draw like this, just use single line drawings and these three watercolors for a while. I know that's not gonna happen, but like it's just so much fun and I love the way that it looks so much. I feel like I need to do that more. <laughs> always and forever. Um, that is the month of March. That's everything that I made during the month of March. This was a long one. Um, this was definitely, um, definitely a long one. You don't need to watch me reorganize this if you want to see that. Uh, if you want to watch me reorganize my thumbnail, uh, watch to the end because that's, that's when that magic happens. But as I do, I'm going to pick my favorite artwork um, of the month. And it's between these two. <laughs> but, uh, I've, I've, I've looked at this one longer. I did this one at the beginning of the month, and it sits um, up on the wall in front of my computer. Not in front of my computer, behind my computer. Um, I'm doing this, like, behind my computer. So I love this. I love the painterly aspect of it. I love everything about it. Grandma, you're a number two to the pickles. The pickles are my favorite <laughs> of the month. Um, yeah. Uh, Strobes Disco Pickles is my, my favorite. Um, okay, uh, how was your month of March? I should have asked you that at the very beginning. Um, let me know how your month has been. Let me know what you're excited for for April and... Um, let me know if you have a favorite of anything that I did this month of all of the things. Okay, uh, that is it for me, so I will see you very soon. Bye-bye! Okay, now we organize. This sticker is from Kristen Hastings, and this st sticker is from Sad Stab. This sticker is from Art Hang Party. Art Hang Party, Art Hang Party. What do I... How do I do my thumbnails? Please tell me. it at the beginning. <sighs> oh, 
we need to see, we need to see these guys. Okay. These guys need to be in there for sure. And then maybe that. Is there a favorite in here? That looks weird. <laughs> just a bunch of just a bunch of lady crotches. There we go. Should look back at my other thumbnails because I feel like this is a bit of a mess. done. Hey, Beth. A sticker on that guy. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I did that. I don't know if that's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> I guess you'll have to see. Oh boy. Okay. Anyway, thanks uh, for trying to help me there. I'm not sure it worked. Um, I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye.